Hey team, happy Valentine's Day. Hope everybody is having a little love in the air and has a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, we are our legacy leaders and the people who are taking the Bob Heilig training. This might sound very familiar to you because this is what Bob talked about this morning on his tip for the day or his training for the day. He does trainings Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning live in the group at 8. And this was something that I felt was super, super um, powerful and important for getting our Facebook pages and our Facebook posts more views. So he was talking about engaging posts. Do you know how we've always said that engaging posts, you have to have them and it builds up your views and the more engagement you have, the more it goes out into your audience and, and this and that. And we've taught to use engaging posts like for the past few years. So but things are changing in how we use engaging posts and what we do when we do an engaging post. So I want to bring you guys up to speed in case you missed Bob's video. So he called it engaging bait, like we're baiting our audience to get them to participate in order for them to see more of our stuff. So what Facebook has been doing is they've been using algorithms, um, as we all know, but they've been, they've been targeting keywords like tag, like if you want to tag somebody below or share this post or um, comment yes. And, and those kind of engaging posts that people have been doing are no longer working and you're actually getting penalized for those types of posts. So basically, Facebook is penalizing the lazy people who are not putting very relevant content out there or engaging posts that, that cause conversation or um, have engaging con content. So we want to be leading with generosity. We want to be adding value to people and we want to be getting people into conversations on our social media. And that is where Plex, Plexus, hello, Facebook looks at us and says, okay, they're of value. We want them to stand out. So we are going to push out their post to more news feeds. So what is this new way of doing this engagement post? Well, it's definitely better than what we've been doing and, and what we've trained on for the past four years. But so what does Facebook really want? They want us to be having conversations. They want us to be fostering real relationships and be talking about real content and real relevant content. And they want people engaged in discussion on our posts. Um, and why is that? Okay, well, Facebook is a business, y'all. I mean, bottom line, it's a business. So its goal is to generate revenue, right? How do they do that? Well, by collecting data from us. Facebook knows everything that we click. I mean, it's kind of scary, big brotherish kind of stuff, but they do. I mean, if you're on a computer, chances are Google or Facebook knows what you're doing and tailors advertisements to what you're talking about, um, what you're clicking on, what you're searching. So there's a reason why if you get engaged or you announce you're pregnant, Facebook's looking for that little word, um, pregnancy or engagement or something. And they're like, okay, bam. So you're going to start seeing things with regards to planning a wedding or having a baby. So that's, and they make money by the ads they sell, y'all. They don't make money on us. They make money on the ads they sell. So if they, if they have more data, which they get by more conversation, then they're able to sell more ads to more people and generate more revenue. So they're gonna look at the posts that have a lot of engagement, a lot of conversation, and they're gonna be like, bam, we can get more conversation, we can get more data from those conversations, and so they're gonna put that out there. So the key is, is we wanna play into those rules of Facebook. We wanna play into that algorithm, and we want to ask questions that generate conversation. And I'm not talking about one word conversation. I'm not talking about yes, no, tag somebody, um, comment the number of times you've had a speeding ticket. Do you know what I mean? We want to actually ask questions that cause people to write more than a couple words. We want the more sentences and the more we can get on a post, the better it is. 
So we definitely want a call to action in our videos. We want um, a call to action in the post above our videos. So for example, I used on this one, comment below what you've learned from this, what you're going to implement or what you have implemented. That's gonna be more than a one word answer, right? Um, so one thing that we can do is on an engaging post is say, comment below what your favorite I don't, football team is and why you like that football team. So that's the key. We want to be asking questions that get more conversation. So asking why, hey Morgan, why somebody um, does something or likes something or believes something, then that's going to drum up more engagement and they're going to show it to more people. So for example, here's some questions you can ask. Like what is your number one tip for healthy eating? Or people are gonna have to say something. What is your favorite, like Netflix, if we're asking for our favorite Netflix show. So if we do an engaging post for Netflix and we say, hey, what's your favorite Netflix show, which I've done, and people are just like, you know, I don't even know some, um, The Bachelor or, you know, duh, 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 and they're just giving the one word, I don't watch a lot of TV, can you tell? Um, one word things, that's not gonna get very much view, there's not going to be as much views as if you ask somebody why they like it. So what is your favorite Netflix show and why do you like it? Well, they're going to have to expand on that. Um, this goes for both business and personal posting and they will rank you up and that's how you get your organic feed. Now, of course, Facebook lives are super duper important. I mean, that is so important to getting views and getting our engagement up on social media right now. So if you are not doing Facebook Lives, guys, I understand how scary it is. I get it. You're probably like, no, you don't. You do them and you don't seem scared, but I am. Like yesterday when I did my one about the vacuum cleaner and show, I mean, I didn't have a stitch of makeup, but anyway, just do the Facebook Lives, add value, and but you also want above the top, you want some sort of written call to action to go along with your verbal call to action. Um, so write out a list of questions that you can ask people, you know, like what is your number one skincare t tip? What is your number one this and that and why is it? And then it will basically turbocharge your engagement and push you out to more people. Um, I have an engaging Facebook post library that I started for myself that has a bunch of engaging posts in it. Um, comment below if you would like to be a part of that, but I'd also love to know what you learned from this video, what we're learning from Bob. I think it's so valuable. And comment below what you learned or what you're implementing right now that is working for increasing your engagement. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and I will talk to you later.